Brought to you by Mustangs On Air. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of The Harmony, a podcast for music snobs to discuss music from then and now and not gatekeep underrated upcoming artists. Let's talk about all types of music because your taste in music doesn't suck. I am your host, Jennifer Salinas, and today my guest is the amazing and talented Amaria Moore, a solo artist from Denton, Texas. Her passion in music transcends through her lyrics and her melodies create stories. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's dive into her musical journey. Hello, I am Jennifer Salinas, and you are listening to The Harmony. Today I am here with the lovely Amaria Moore. Howdy, everybody. Howdy. Today I want to talk about you and your musical journey. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself and about your music. Well, my name is Amari. Um, I started playing guitar and writing songs my sophomore year of high school. Um, I attended Booker T. Washington for the Performing and Visual Arts in Dallas. And I learned classical guitar there. Um, And I guess classical music played such a huge part on me as an artist because I was very inspired by the instrumental side of music um, and just the different sounds that I can make on the guitar. And then once I was comfortable, I guess, learning that, I started to tell stories and write songs. Um, And then, yeah, I wrote my very first EP and released it in 2018, titled Complications, and it received a nod from NPR. I was featured on the top 20 under 20 artists in Texas, which was surprising but really cool. And then um, now I'm currently in my last year pursuing my BA in music at University of North Texas. Um, And yeah, getting ready to release an album in October. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Third day sits now. Time goes by and it rains every day. It's not the same when I go outside. Every once in a while I hear the trees whisper things about me. They say I'm losing my mind. It's all eyes I hear. The wind blows secrets in my It's clear I still need you here. your music mm. typically is there some sort of inspiration that goes with your music yeah I think it depends um some of them tend to be from personal experience some are not um some are from like like a movie or a show that I've seen or it could be like a scenic inspiration like I wrote one song about driving down the highway like coming home from school one day I was like, oh, that's a nice view. And I just sort of like personified it and then somehow told a story and turned it into a song. So I guess it just depends on my mood. Um, But my process overall consists of me just sitting down with the guitar, um, improving until I've come up with something that I like. And then I'll just hum a melody and then I'll put words to it later on. So was it awkward for you in the beginning, you know, putting yourself out there with, you know? Yeah, (laughs) like performing for the first time. Yeah, performing and just like putting all your thoughts into music. Yeah, because it's it's like a a vulnerable thing to do. It's like you're putting yourself out there and you're susceptible to any sort of like reaction. I try to be very optimistic about how receptive it can be. And I try to just say that I'm doing it for me, even though I'm doing it for others. Yeah. It's like I have this sort of gift and purpose to spread some sort of message through my music. But I can't really think about that all the time whenever I'm creating. I'm just doing it and then I'll put it out into the universe and then what happens, happens. Yeah. I mean, that makes you more authentic. 
Yeah. Mm. Unique. Yeah, I guess so. And time is a healer. Each day by day to become whole again. So you're a drawn genre for music. It's um what would you say it is? Like indie, um folk. Yeah, it's like a folk soul singer songwriter. But I guess the bigger picture is just like alternative because that can be so many different things. Have you ever thought of exploring other genres? Um, or what made you decide, oh, you know, this this fits me, my personality? I don't know. I honestly don't even like to put myself in a box, but I feel like that's the box that I like had to choose. And I feel like alternative is broad within itself because, like, you can have something that's alternative but sounds R&B. Then you can also have something that's alternative and sounds rock or sounds folk. So it's, like, it's kind of a big umbrella. And indie is the bigger umbrella on mm. top of that one. Um, yeah, I'm not opposed to exploring, delving deeper in, into other genres, like, really picking into those sounds more. Right now I'm just doing what comes naturally to me. I'm not trying to force myself to sound like this or sound like that i'm just sort of doing it and then yeah okay interesting so currently i know this question might be a little odd <laughs> but um do you have a favorite song of yours i mean i know all your songs you know you put so much hard work into it so it's like how could you ask you know what my favorite what my favorite song is <laughs> Yeah, from from that perspective, and even just like, I try not. I it would be a lie if I say I don't listen to myself. <laughs> I don't like to listen to myself, but I kind of like have to. And then, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite song though. It's like I, I can guess find appreciation in all of them because I experience such different things with all of them. Mm. But I guess one that I've been listening to a lot recently probably is a part. And it hasn't been released yet, but it's going to be on this new album. Um, there's just something about it that I just keep wanting to play it over and over again. I don't even know why. Yeah. But hopefully that's like, maybe that'll be the response when other people hear it too. It's just like something that kind of wants to keep like drawing you back into it. It's, it's like, I don't know. You just kind of get lost within it. It's just like, it puts you in its own little world for a quick moment because it's like it's kind of a, it's one of my shorter songs on there but it's like you want to listen to it again so yeah part right so, now yeah well i mean since you mentioned you know new song new album do we get at least a little tease of at, you know just what at least what one song is about maybe if that's okay with you um i mean i guess the overarching theme of the entire album is title evolution. Um, and I think each song is a journey of essentially me coming to the understanding of who I am and what I want to portray to other people. Um, it's like I, I came from one start, like one point, and over the course, even over the course of recording the album, I feel like I've grown and evolved and musically, intellectually, like, I'm not the same as I was when I was first demoing out these songs. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just a firm believer in, in progress and trying to just become the best version of yourself. So essentially, this is like a nod to that. It's like me wanting to be more, be better, do better, um, and just heal from where I was and grow from where I was. And so each song is like a different, a different story and a different side of that overarching message, but they're all related in their own different way. Yeah, that's, that's really inspiring. 
And I mean, is there anything, <laughs> is there anything that you would um, advise new artists that are trying to make their own music currently? Um, just be yourself. I don't know. Just do what feels natural. Um, try not to fall into the comparison syndrome because that's like real, and it it like it's real so try not to focus on what other people are doing just focus on you and your journey because you are unique and individual and there's only one you um and you're not someone else and they're not you so if you're passionate and believe in what you do um then yeah you can you can do it <laughs> That's great advice. I mean, I kind of want to pick up a guitar now and just yeah. start making my music. Just start <laughs> doing it. Just literally do it. And there's no right or wrong way to do it either. Just yeah. whatever's working for you. And hey. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure having you. Where can we find you, Amaria Moore? Um, you can find me on any social media under Amaria Moore. It's A-M-A-R-I-A-M-O-R-E. And I currently have some music released on all streaming platforms under that same name. And be on the lookout for my upcoming debut album, Evolution. And yeah, thanks so much for having me. Of course, me. I will definitely be talking about you all day. Oh. <laughs> all right, stop, it, was a, <laughs> it was a pleasure having you, Amari. Once again, thanks for joining me for the very first episode of The Harmony, featuring the aspiring Amaria Moore. If you would like to keep up with her musical journey and watch her grow as an artist, follow her on Amaria Moore on Instagram. And listen to her music on all streaming platforms under Amaria Moore. I hope my music snobs tune back in for another episode of The Harmony.